Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. We got a special video for you guys today. We're throwing it back to the old Train Insane series where we take famous celebrities, athletes, and bodybuilders. We go through their workout exactly how it is. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna rate the workout for you guys. We're gonna show you guys step-by-step step everything that we do. And we're gonna tell you whether it's a good workout or not. And we're gonna scale it on a, on a scale of one through five, all right? I'm here with my boy, Alex. He's moving around, making sure that the light doesn't turn this off. This is what we do for you turn. guys, for good lighting, okay? Yeah. So give that thumbs up and subscribe. We're out here in Calhoun, Georgia, so wanted to take advantage of the fact that we're here together so we can get this good workout in. We can create some cool content for you guys. Um, and we're in a bit of a rush. It's actually raining like crazy. It just started pouring, so we're gonna try to make it to the gym somehow. Um, Without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's go! Woo! Oh. Today on episode two of this Train Insane series, we're gonna be doing Michael B. Jordan's chest workout. Y'all know who he is, starred in Black Panther, starred in the Creed movies, which by the way, the Creed movies are my favorite movies of all time. Michael B. Jordan is in phenomenal shape and I found his workout online here on manofmany.com. So we're gonna be going through this workout now. We're very limited on time today, so we're only gonna be doing his chest workout. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you stay to the end to see the review. Michael B. Jordan, you're up next. You can't tell, but my my joggers are completely soaked in the rain. I was wearing a a jacket hey. on top, so it kind of taken me a that little bit. That works, dude. Look at that. I mean, and Alex is just fucking. Dude, soaked. I've been working out so hard right now, man. Like, get to my level. Okay? Soaked. Damn. We're gonna go try to get some towels, and then we'll begin the workout. Keeping rest time short, cause we only have about 30 minutes. We got six exercises we're going through. Starting with these incline dumbbell presses. Three sets of 12. Using 70s, use the weight that's come to that side. Challenging for you. That's what you want. Keep those elbows tucked in. That's set number three. Come on, bro. Shit. Yo, that was pretty. See, okay, but I'll make the excuse. I'll make. I, I like to use this one yeah. as a reason. Oh, machine flies. Well, the reason why we're doing machine flies is because it puts less strain on the shoulders. You know what I mean? So if you have any tears or anything like that, or, you, or you're trying to prevent tears, this is going to be the best way of doing it. That's, that's really it. Let's do it. We got machine flies. Three sets of 12. Make sure you get that full squeeze there. Full squeeze, yeah. You want to almost act like you're hugging the tree. Make sure that your elbow stays at the same angle the entire time. You see that? His angle stays the same elbow. Uh, his, his, his angle stays the his same His elbow stays the same angle the whole time. Is there a particular amount of tension that we need to put? Or do we 
just Bro, just go as hard as you can for the 12 reps that you got. If you, need to raise, if you can do more than 12, raise, uh, raise the weight. If you can't hit 12, lower the weight. But you want to be failing right around 12. I think I go up one more higher the next one. Right. And then uh, I think that'll be good. The main, the main number one mistake I see people do all the time when they do flies, even more on cables, less on machines, but even on this too, is that a lot of people will do this. They'll start bending their elbow, right? Like their, el like their arm. So like people will do this, look. They'll do, they'll do stuff like this. You see, you see how my elbow is, uh, you see how I'm like extending it and then bending it? A lot of people will do that. You want to keep that elbow stagnant the whole time. So if, you, if this is the angle your elbow's in, it should stay like that the entire time. You see that? Instead of doing this, it should stay there the whole time. And then you do it one, one, uh, one arm at a time so that you don't mess up your shoulders. Pop out your chest, just like that. Get that full squeeze, and like you're hugging a tree. Nice and controlled. Three. Good squeeze. Four. You see how I'm pausing? Five, paused, and then controlled negative. Eight, pause, control negative. Every rep. Pause. My chest is screaming right now, bro. That's the difference. I could rub them out. I could have told up easy, but you want to come in, squeeze, control the negative. That's how you raise the intensity. That's how you break down the muscle. Time make it grow. Tut. 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 T U T. Time under tension. That's how you grow. That's how you grow that muscle. It's called bodybuilding. Look it up. There you go. See, for me though, I don't really do a lot of negatives. I'll keep constant tension going back and forth. Yeah. Right? So, there's no perfect way of doing this, right? Everybody has their own way of doing it. It's about yeah. really switching it up every now and then so your muscles don't get used to a certain right. routine. So, I'll tell you the, the reason why I like negatives, but I only, I only do the negatives control is because I like to be explosive on the first part of the mo movement. So on the positive part of the movement where you're really having to push against the weight, uh, I, if you do it that way, like you do it faster, it works those short, uh, what are they called? The, the fast switch muscles. The fast switch muscles, yeah. Uh, which helps with explosiveness. That's the reason I do it like that. And then I do the negative for that extra hypertrophy. But like he, like he said, there's, like, like he said, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You know, like that, that way, how you're doing it, that's more time under tension. So your muscles staying engaged the entire time. You know what I mean? That's really good too. So sometimes I'll go back and forth between those. Did you raise the weight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna drop it back down. You're never wrong to switch things up either, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, you should. You should switch things up. Not all the time. Not always yeah. switch. You know, you want to be consistent with things, but it's good to, after a while, when your body starts getting used to it, it's good to switch things up, hit it from a different angle. The last five reps, do the time under tension. Let me know what you think about it. If I can. <laughs> yeah. I will say that one, it does wear you out a lot faster compared to, you know, doing this where you're exploding, explosive on the way up and then negative on the way down.
doing? Ah. I should want to flare up a little bit more. You're going so, right, so what I'm doing right now, I, I should have said something, but what I, what I did right now, if you were looking at my hands, I changed my grip. So I wasn't doing this anymore. I twisted, I kind of supinated my hands. Oh, yeah. And I like so, uh, so when you do that, you'll kind of work a little more of that inner lower chest. So you supinate a little bit and you come in like this, almost like your underhand flying, right? You're gonna feel that on the inside of the chest more, which for me, that's one of my weak points. That's what I need to work on that inner, that inner part right there. So that's why I'll give, I'll give my hands that little bit of a twist. It's called supinating. On to the next workout. Was that three? All right, guys. For this next one, we got push-ups. It's ten sets technically. It's gonna be ten reps, nine reps, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Um, we're not really taking much rest time, so we're kind of gassed, but we're gonna give it a shot. All right. Sure. Let's yeah. do it. that is. starting to fuck up. Well, it, it puts less. What I've learned is that it allows you to grip like this, have your wrist like this, as opposed to like this. So it puts less wrist on your, on your wrist. And I, I broke this wrist uh, two years ago. So I still got pain from it, so. You gotta modify whenever you gotta modify, bro. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to cut this one uh, early. 307, I gotta head out in 20 minutes to the airport. So we gotta go back to the place, get changed. 
grab my luggage and stuff and uh, head back into Vegas. So do so, a little review of how, so far what you, what you thought about the workout, etc. Let's do it when we go home. Okay. Hi. All right. Catch you guys in two. In, catch you guys in three, two, one. And we're back. All right, guys. So I just want to wrap up this video by reviewing the workout. Um, listen, this video was kind of all over the place. Um, and that was because we were in such a rush. And it was kind of like a last minute thing. Um, you know, coming up with the idea to do the train insane. Since I was out there in Georgia, it was a good opportunity to do it. I'm now back in Vegas. And we were only able to get through like half of the workout, but we did finish the chest portion of the workout. So this video is going to be only about the chest portion of the workout, right? The chest, the Michael B. Jordan chest workout, right? So with that being said, let's get into it. We only did three exercises that you saw, which was the dumbbell press, the flies, and the push-ups. Now, the number one thing that I liked the most about this workout was the intensity. Because we were in such a rush, we cut short rest time very short. Actually, we didn't even rest, really. It was just like when one of us finished, the other one hopped on, right? And so we just kind of kept going back and forth. We were alternating through all three of the workouts. We got done in less than half an hour. And the chest pump was phenomenal, bro. Like, for real. Like, I remember, I remember that moment, like, when we were doing the flies, my chest was screaming, you know, and I looked back at the footage and I remember like, oh yeah, like that was a really good workout. Even though they were very basic movements, you know, flies, presses, push-ups, that's as basic as it gets, you know, but the intensity was there. And that, I would say, falls on the person who's doing the exercise, right? Because you could do this exercise and not feel a thing, or you could do the same exact exercise and you know have your chest screaming. It's up to you, it's up to your intensity. How hard do you push yourself? I think a good rule of thumb is, if you can do more than the amount of reps that it says, right? Let's say the range is 10 to 12 reps, right? Let's say the goal is 12 reps. If you feel like you can do 12 reps and you could still keep going, that means on your next set, you have to raise the weight. Right, you want to put a certain amount of weight where you're failing right around that goal, so 10 to 12 reps. Um, and if you can't reach 10 reps, then that means you should lower the weight. Right now, what also counts is what we were talking about in this video, which is the reason I'm posting this video. I was strongly debating whether I should even post this video. I was honestly just gonna trash it because I didn't like. Uh, there's a couple things that I, could, I feel like could have been better and I only want to put the best on here, but I feel like the tips that we gave in this video were so crucial. They were golden nuggets all over the video, like the time under tension, the negatives, the squeeze pauses, all those sort of things. Those are things that you can incorporate in any workout, which proves my point. This was a very, very basic workout, but we made it an incredible workout by using these techniques, okay? So apply those time under tension the the uh, explosive on the way up the negatives on the way down and you can do that with any movement not just the flies you can do that on the push-ups you can do that on the dumbbell presses if you watch closely you can see our form the way that we perform these exercises is meant to you know pump as much blood as possible to the chest and and to really work the muscle okay so now for the workout itself i would say it was very basic um you know, I, I don't think it was extraordinary, although I do think that the rep ranges and the sets were on point. I think they, they're right at the sweet spot of like not too many reps, not too little, not too many sets, not too little. I think the sets and the, the rep ranges were perfect. They were on point. I think the workout selection were very, very good as well. I think I like to personally do a little more, you know, uh, upper chest exercises. Um, so I, I do think that maybe it was lagging a little there. And then, of course, the second half of the workout, you had your shoulders and triceps, which we were hitting, right? But for the chest portion, I, I think it was very, it was good. I don't think it was amazing, but, you know, we made it better than it was by applying those techniques, which is something that I recommend that you guys do as well anytime you can. Okay, so I would give this uh, workout from a 1 to 5. I would probably give it a 3.5 leaning closer to a four um you know and that's because we did what we could to make it better and cut those rest time shorts kept the intensity high kept the heart rate up we were zoned in on the workout we weren't focused on anything else you know and so really for me it was an incredible workout i would maybe 
you know, I could even give it like a four or 4.5 because of the pump that I had, but we're not talking about my experience. We're talking about overall the workout, you know? And I think for, for most people, it's, it's, it's good. It's decent. It's maybe, um, yeah, it's good. So not, not incredible, but good. Okay. Um, I recommend you guys try it out. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or not. Now, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Listen, this wasn't um, the best planned out video. I promise I'm gonna do better moving forward. Um, I've had so much going on lately. I'm actually gonna record an update video right now once I finish this one to let you guys know what's been going on, why I've been kind of absent from YouTube, uh, what's going on in my life and what are the plans moving forward? Okay, I just wanted to get this piece of content out there because I do think that the tips that were in this video were just too good to not post. Um, but maybe the video itself could have had better structure, you know, more planning, that sort of thing. And I will be working on that in the future. Now, if you want to see the potential of these Trey and Sam videos, I recommend you go watch the last one that I posted, which is the CT Fletcher Armed Warfare Workout. That one was incredible, incredible workout. And the planning on that one was perfect, like the cinematography on that, the, the review process at the ending. Uh, I was really, really happy with, that one, with how that one came out. So if you're looking for an arm workout that you'd like to try that's really going to push you to your edge, go watch that video. Check it out. Try out that workout, okay? So, with that being said, guys, I'm about to film an update video right after this. Uh, so, stay posted and check up on that once it's up and live. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. More heart, more hustle.